Okay guys, so today we're going to be building a PC, not physically, but actually online. And we're going to try and make it as expensive as we possibly can. It's going to tie into a task that we're doing a little bit later on today. So what I'll do is I'll quickly show you the website I want you to go to, and that is pcpartpicker.com. Click on System Builder, and then you can choose your different items for your computer. So first of all, I'll show you how to do how to choose a CPU. All you need to do is go inside here and remember you're making it as expensive as possible and you're going to choose one of the more expensive CPUs you can. Now as a quick hint, you can actually have more than one of each on some systems but not all. So, it may not be obvious which one is the most expensive straight away. You're going to have 10 minutes to do this, so I'm going to start the timer. You need to hit the pause button and here we go. Okay, so here we go. Your 10 minutes are up. So what you need to do is either comment on this or go to Google Classroom if you're in my classroom and you need to comment on there how much you managed to get within 10 minutes. Um, so that was kind of related to what we're doing today. So the next part of what we're doing is we're going to be focused on, on Summer 18 pre-release 21. Now this is a test that came up last year. Uh, and you could get one that's really, really similar. Um, so here we go, a computer shop is basically, we want to build exactly what you've just done, except we're going to make it a lot more simple, because you know, we're GCSE, we're not quite the best in the world just yet. So what we've got is we've got a couple of different components, and then we've got some choices, and then we've got some prices depending on those choices. Now, you probably want to go through and read this, so you might want to pause the video right now, uh, and have a read of this. I'm just going to read out task one. So we're going to write a program for task one to calculate the cost of building a computer using these components. The customer makes a choice for each component and an estimate is produced. The estimate must show a unique estimate number, the components chosen, and the price of each component. The estimate must show also show the total cost of the computer, which is calculated as the sum of the cost of co components chosen plus 20%. The reason there's an extra 20% is because that should be the tax on the top. So most of this is kind of simple and I'm just going to give you a hint on how to start it if you want. If you think that you can do this already, now is time to press the pause button. Okay, so if you're still with us, that means that you want a couple of extra hints. Now, what I've got here is just some very, very basic hints on how to start it. So, for task one, we're going to need six different inputs. We're going to have processor, RAM, storage, screen case, and USB ports. Now, each of these are going to have a choice. And so, our input's going to look something like processor equals input. What sort of processor would you like? P3, P5, or P7? Now, our user then would put in P3, P5, or P7, and we're going to have a really, really simple if statement to calculate how much it's going to cost. So we could have pro if processor equals equals P3, then we're going, to choose, we're going to create a variable called processor price, and we're going to define it as 100, for example. Same for RAM, storage, screen, case, and USB ports. Now, at the end of it, we need to have a total. We're going to add up all of these prices. So once our user's gone through and added these up, or they've input their choice, we're then at the very end, add, we're going to add them all up. So we would have something like processor price plus RAM price, and so on and so forth, and we'd say total equals processor price plus RAM price plus storage price, and so on. We'd then output this to our user, and then we're also going to tell them what it is with VAT on top. So to get 20% on top of our total, we're going to do total equals total times 1.2. That's all the hints I'm going to give you. Once you're finished, you need to save your work and upload it onto the Google Classroom. Or if you're struggling, you need to comment, go on Google Meets, or comment on Google Classroom or on the video. Other than that, other than that guys, good luck. 